Om ye dharma hedu brabhava hedande shantatanga do haryavadde shanchayo nirodam bad mahasharamana svaha we are going to do a buddhist meditation known as four immeasurables which is a meditation on loving kindness compassion equanimity let's uh, start with uh, sitting in right posture you might like to just take a few moments to work on your posture sit comfortably and also this is a moment where you can connect with your body let go of your mind uh, say to yourself i'm here i'm at home feel sensations your body and then gently make sure that your back is straight feel that and now you are intentionally grounding yourself at the center of your being feel that you are in touch with the place in yourself that is a uh, dignified uh, feel that you are now abiding in the state of stillness equanimity balance let your shoulders relax feel the ease everywhere in your body you can join your hands or rest them on your knees Now take three deep breaths through your nostrils. When you inhale, feel that you're inhaling into your belly. And then with the three long exhalations, feel that you are releasing all the discomfort from your body as well as also uh, emotions. thoughts which are uh, stagnated in your system with the this long exhalations just uh, release all of them Feel that uh, now your mind is still, your body is at ease. Bring your 
attention to breath, especially in your nostrils. Let go of your thoughts and give your whole attention to just this a single object, which is a, your own breath. Notice that you are breathing. This is a very simple method. It's not like we're trying to do anything that is a contrived or artificial. The truth is that uh, our body is always breathing, even though we're not aware of it. And here, all we're doing is to notice that our body is breathing naturally all the time. Feel uh, this energetic movement that comes with each breath. Also, notice the subtle sensations in your nostrils. When you breathe in, notice that the air in your nostrils is a little bit cooler. When you breathe out, then the air in your nostrils is a little bit warmer. Observe all these subtle changes. You might like to keep your eyes closed for a while. Forget everything, forget your to-do list. Be with each breath completely. And you feel that uh, there's only stillness, peace. It's a, a inner sanctuary. Breath is actually inner sanctuary where the mind sees and there's no more mental chart, no more judgment, no more concepts, ideas. Rest in your breath. Come back to the breath again and again.
begin to invite your attention by following the path of a breath so that you are breathing in and the breath enters into your body and uh, creates all these uh, physical responses. Notice that when you inhale, your belly expands, your shoulders rise, and when you exhale, notice that your belly contracts a little bit. And now you might like to let go of your concentration on breath. Feel free to open your eyes. Just to relax, relax into your body. If a thought began to rise, simply notice them and remember not to follow them. Let them pass on their own. In the same way, enjoy all the sensory experiences like sounds, colors, Stay present and remember not to judge or label whatever you are witnessing in the field of your own awareness. Just be with whatever is happening in each moment. 
and then not to judge your own experiences. Welcome everything that is uh, unfolding right now. That might be sensations in your body or sound of somebody speaking, space between you and the wall, thoughts, moods. Welcome all of them in the spirit of uh, non-judgment, non-grasping, and non-rejecting. And so everything will flow through you. You might like to use this uh, analogy that is uh, mentioned so many times in Buddhist uh, teachings. The stream of water flowing on the leaf of a lotus. Just like that, here you allow all your experiences to flow through you, but there's no grasping. Like feel everything's flowing through you right now. Thoughts, sensations, sound, And here, what we're doing is not so much that we're doing something with the effort. We're simply abiding instead of a non-grasping, non-reacting. But we're not trying to change anything. We're not trying to modify the reality or the present moment, or, or even our own experiences. Instead, we are here to welcome everything that arises naturally, and not to superimpose our own preferences, judgment upon them. And our mind is uh, free, our heart is uh, liberated.
remind yourself to just to be, be here completely. We don't have to go anywhere right now and we don't have to achieve anything. Just to be. Let's take a short break while you are sitting. You might like to stretch your arms or to look around. Once again, I'd like to bring your attention to the breath. Close your eyes. Notice that you are breathing. Feel the breath. So here we are going to do the four immeasurables, the traditional order of that is uh, the immeasurable love, compassion, empathetic joy, and the equanimity. Sometimes they're also called uh, four 
divine abodes. Uh, we are going to change uh, the traditional order of the four immeasurables uh, by putting compassion first. Uh, let's take a few moments to feel that uh, we are uh, now dropping into our heart, our emotional and the spiritual heart. You can chant mantras like the name of a Tara or Avadokteshwara or also you can put your hand on your chest. Feel the sensation of your hand on your chest and I feel that sensation becomes a doorway to be in touch with your heart and then feel that your heart is already free wise courageous fearless full of uh, compassion, love. It has the ability to transcend our ego, self-centeredness. It has the ability to abide in equilibrium in the faces of all situations. It never loses love. When you practice these four to individual one person, you can call them divine abodes or the four divine abodes, but when you practice these four principles, in relationship to all beings, then they are called the four immeasurables, but the same principle. So let's uh, visualize a group of people. We have uh, unconditional love, such as your family right now. Imagine that your Family members are sitting in front of you, your children, your parents, your partner, your sisters, brothers, nieces, nephews. Imagine that they're all sitting in front of you right now. Imagine that you are looking into their eyes with this uh, unconditional love. And then begin to bear witnessing to their suffering, to acknowledge whatever they are going through right now, but not in spirit of a judgment, struggling, liking, disliking, or these all ideas should not be happening, this should be happening, that should not be happening, or even the desire to fix their problems right away. Let go of, of this desire to control or to judge. Simply just a witness 
what they're going through right now with open heart. Some of them might be going through right now health issues or financial struggles or some of them are going through heartache, emotional upheaval or some of them might be dealing with a tragedy in their life. And here we simply sit with open heart and to witness their suffering or whatever they are going through right now. Notice uh, how spontaneously our heart opens whenever we think of uh, the sufferings of our loved ones. Immediately our heart opens. We feel compassion empathy and we also feel to pray pray for their benefit usually we meditate on these four principles by chanting a liturgy Please repeat after me, either in silence or out loud. May you be free from suffering and the cause of suffering. May you have happiness and the cause of happiness. May you never be separate from joy that knows no sorrow. May you abide in equanimity free from bias and hatred. Now imagine that uh, all your friends are sitting in front of you on your right side. You can invite many of your friends as much you want. All those people with whom you have a positive connection in this life, the people who call you on your birthday, the people with whom you and share your personal stories, the people you hold in your heart, 
people who you care imagine they are right now in front of you on your right side and then open your heart to each of them imagine that you are looking into their eyes whether loving kindness allow yourself to feel that you are right now acknowledging and witnessing whatever they're going through. Health issue, emotional upheaval, fear, confusion, sickness, trouble in their relationship, Now, repeat after me, either in silence or out loud. May you be free from suffering and cause of suffering. May you have happiness and cause of happiness. May you never be separate from joy that knows no sorrow. May you abide in equanimity free from bias and uh, hatred. Now imagine that you are inviting a person or group of people who challenge you and people who somehow invoke aversion, judgment. Perhaps there are people who you find uh, very challenging because uh, the way they speak or because their belief system even though you perhaps never met them imagine that they are setting in front of you on your left side. And then open your heart to each of them. And acknowledge whatever they are going through. Let yourself realize that uh, they are the same as you and me. They have a vulnerability. They have people whom they love. 
they laugh at the same joke that makes you laugh. And perhaps they love the same music as you do. Behind their personality, there's a vulnerability and uh, humanness. And now look into their eyes and your mind with a loving kindness and acknowledge their human struggles. Some of them might be going through right now emotional upheaval, fear, anxiety, self-doubt, or they might be going through harder times like health issue, tragedy. Let's hold them in our love, compassion. Please repeat after me. Again in silence or out loud. May you have a happiness and a cause. So we, may you be free from suffering and the cause of suffering. May you have happiness and cause of happiness. May you never be separate from joy that knows no sorrow. May you abide in equanimity free from bias and hatred. Now, uh, imagine that you are inviting the whole humanity in your mind, invite everyone from everywhere, regardless of their religion, color, race, nationality, Imagine there's a sea of a human, hum, humanity around you right now. Imagine that, uh, especially you are inviting those who are sick, those who are hungry, those who are disfranchised, those who are stuck in this rich circle of injustice, poverty, I'd like to invite those who are right now suffering in a war zone or places that are destroyed by natural disasters. Those who are suffering under Suppression. And 
and then imagine that you're looking into eyes of every human being with love and witness, acknowledge the suffering that humanity is going through right now, hunger, illness, poverty, trauma, tragedy, pain, fear, hopelessness, hold the whole humanity as well as their sorrow in your open, compassionate heart. Please repeat after me in silence or out loud. May you be free from suffering and the cause of suffering. May you have happiness and the cause of happiness. May you never be separate from joy that knows no sorrow. May you abide in equanimity, free from bias and hatred. Let's end with a mantra, a non-conceptual mantra. This mantra is an invitation to each of us to rest in the, our pure awareness that is already free. Aha Shasamaha, Aha Shasamaha, Aha Shasamaha. Thank you everybody for sitting with us and uh, doing the four immeasurables. Uh.